Singapore Math helped teachers understand their role as a teacher. It helped them improve their content knowledge by looking at the textbooks, they understand the mathematics they teach. By looking at the textbooks, they understand the methods they should use to teach. Part 3. Addition of large numbers without regrouping. We learned how to add whole numbers within 100 with regrouping. This time, we'll learn how to add large numbers without regrouping. Let's add large numbers using the base 10 model with the help of manipulatives. Remember, a unit is equal to 1. A rod is equal to 10 units. And a flat is equal to 10 rods as well as 100 units. Let's add 125 and 21 using a base 10 model. We'll model 125 with one flat, two rods, and five units. And we'll model 21 with two rods and one unit. Since addition means to put together, We'll combine all these to get the total. We now have one flat, four rods, and six units. So 125 plus 21 is 146. Let's have another example. What is 232 plus 143? We model 232 using two flats, three rods, and two units. For 143, we use one flat, four rods, and three units. Put them together, and we get three flats, seven rods, and five units. This represents 375. So 232 plus 143 is equal to 375. Now let's try adding 174 and 211 without using manipulatives. Like before, we'll be grouping together the hundreds, tens, and ones, aligning them like so. We'll add the ones first. 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. Then the tens. 7 plus 1 is equal to 8. Lastly, the hundreds. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. So 174 plus 211 equals 3 hundreds, 8 tens, 5 ones, or 385. Let's solve another one. What is 213 plus 322? Add the ones. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Then the tens. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. And lastly, the hundreds. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. 213 plus 322 equals 535. Now that you know how to add large numbers, we can move on to the last part of our lesson.